Namaste to all of you. Today, I shall speak on what we mean by going beyond love and hate. Love and hate, supposed to be two prime emotions. How do we go beyond that? To begin with, let me start on its fundamental basis. Spiritually, from our ancient scriptures, it has been said that all that exists in the nothingness of our universe is not to. In the nothingness of our universe. And Scientifically, also it has been claimed in the law of conservation of energy, all that exists is energy. So, in the nothingness of our universe, it does not mean that there is nothing, meaning there is emptiness or it is empty, the universe is empty, sorry, no, it's not that. It means that Matter and consciousness, though temporary, they appear and disappear back into the nothingness, in the absoluteness of this nothingness. What do you mean by absolute? Absolute is that raw, pure energy. And energy is the ability and the capacity to do work. So all that exists is energy which is indivisible, which can neither be created nor destroyed. On its own it's nothing, but it has the ability as potential energy, as kinetic energy, as its power. When it moves, it vibrates in different frequencies, condensing, splitting into waves and particles. So, spiritually it was said that all that exists is Brahman, not to. Not to. And this Brahman is everything. It is that creator and the creation. And when this energy manifests when it manifests from its nothingness into matter and consciousness, it gets fragmented. It gets fragmented, it starts separating. Though it is indivisible, it starts separating from its non-duality, from its absoluteness, from its oneness, from its nothingness, from its togetherness, it starts separating into its extreme. And one such energy is love. On one hand, the highest form of love, spiritual love, and on the other hand is hatred, hate, love and hate into two separate extremes. Into That's called duality. Duality is temporary. Both have to appear and disappear. Everything that exists, every planet that exists, whether it's the sun, moon, earth, us, anything. We all have to appear and disappear. We are all transient, temporary. We appear and we disappear. And the cycle of energy goes on. Creation, destruction, recreation. Life and death. Death is a new beginning of a another life. So, in this separation, in this separation of energy into duality, it goes into relativity, in opposites of divine and devil, good and bad, positive and negative, hot and cold, love and hate. It goes into opposites. Though all these opposites are connected as one, because energy is 
like I said, indivisible. So all is connected as one, but in separation, we perceive in opposites. Mind is helpless. It can only function in duality. It cannot function in non-duality. It can only function in duality of this and that, here and there, for its likes and dislikes, in selfishness, for the sake of its self-preservation. So, in duality, we have love and hate, and love and hate. And these divisions are psychological, where the highest is spiritual love, highest form of energy in higher consciousness and in the lowest the same love decreases into hate. Both are akin to each other. Both are akin to each other because hatred arises only if there has been love prior to that. You can only hate a person whom you have loved earlier, otherwise you cannot. Otherwise, you would be indifferent. You may dislike that person, but you would not hate that person. Hate is connected to love as one. And it can be simultaneous. A wife may love her husband today. And say if tomorrow if she finds him with another girl, Thinking her to be his girlfriend, she might hate him the next day. And after that, another day, if she discovers that that girl was just a colleague or an employee or something like that, again the love reappears. So it's simultaneous, it keeps constantly changing. So mind is very frivolous, mind is very frivolous. And the root of both these extremes is absolute energy. In its oneness, in its oneness. So, in the nothingness of this universe, it's always in its intensity, the suffix of intensity, in the form of anyesis, oneness, togetherness, wholesomeness, divisiveness, for us beingness. It will always be in its intensity, higher to lower, describing it in that form. So, mind being helpless cannot do without duality. And then love has many gradings. If you go into the duality of love and hate, it has many gradings. How it keeps diluting? You have lust, often mistaken for love. You have greed, you have jealousy, you have prejudices, you have conditioning. You have expectations, you have demands, you dominate the other in love. So there are so many factors, psychological factors. You dominate, you expect, you are possessive. You are possessive. So psychological love has too many labels, too many attachments. It's transactional. When there is expectation, it becomes transactional. It cannot be termed as love. That is why the phrase is, you fall in love. It will never say you rise in love. Because when you start rising in love, you go towards higher consciousness. You go towards that absoluteness. You go towards this oneness. That is called rising in love. In psychological love, you only fall in love. Going towards the other extreme, so love, psychological love, I would say, causes a lot of misery and not joy. In fact, hatred is more pure. There is no grading in hatred. There is no grading. Hatred is very simple. You hate a person, you hate a person. But in love, look at the number of gradings that I gave, the ranking that I gave. The intensity keeps on depleting, keeps on going downwards. 
So besides these gradings, it has too many conditions, demands, etc., etc. So in the opposites, in the opposites, in the mind, what happens? Relationships have no meaning. Relationships have no meaning. In even yourself has no meaning. Because it is in duality. Even yourself, in selfishness has no meaning. As far as spiritual is concerned. Spirituality is to do with absoluteness. It is that beingness in pure awareness, in higher consciousness. As you go towards higher consciousness, you come into your, you enter into your superconscious area, the soul. The soul. The witnesser, the observer, and beyond that, pure awareness, your beingness, beingness in selflessness becomes the prime way. There is no duality between love and hate and you have gone beyond that. You have gone beyond that. So, what happens? When you enter into spiritual love, beyond love and hate, your essential nature beyond duality emerges. You are no longer sentimental to a few. You become sensitive to all that is around in selflessness, where there is no differentiation between Hindu, Muslim, Christian or Buddhist. You see all in oneness. In oneness. Love is in a purity, I would say, is not even an emotion. And it's purity. Because emotion is to do with the mind. Love cannot be defined in words. Love cannot be defined in words. It is that adhesive which unites. It is that adhesive which unites from its separation into its oneness, into its fullness, into its wholesomeness, togetherness, which is absolute, eternal and infinite, without any explanations, where there is no mind to evaluate, to analyze, to compare. It's simply in its purity, in its absoluteness. The mind starts dissolving. So whenever the mind starts to dissolve, when the mind dissolves, it becomes silent, it becomes still. You are going towards higher consciousness and you are going beyond the factors of psychological love into spiritual love which is beyond the other extreme of hatred. So, do try and see and discover what the spiritual love is all about, how it goes beyond your emotions of your conditioning and demanding and comparing and expecting. Thank you very much.